Well, hello everyone. Um, no, it's not some kind of abstract art painting. It's just uh, covering my cutting mat, which is already covered in paint anyway, so it's a bit late. And it's a bit lurid, I know, uh, the colour, but hopefully you'll excuse it. It's just a quick unboxing video because just turning up today, about half an hour ago in the mail was this, courtesy of Hannant and FX, of course. Um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, bought it as a bit of a joke, really. It's to celebrate the 40th anniversary of uh, Motorhead's Bomber album. Uh, they don't include any extra turrets or anything like that, but uh, it's just their basic uh, HE11, HE111, sorry, H6 kit, I guess, with a few extra decals, or different decals, in fact. It's got Motorhead and some other bits. So I thought we'd... Um, have a quick look through it together. Shame they didn't code a vinyl copy of the album, which would have been nice, but never mind. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry, I've gone back to my webcam so I can use my um, new microphone. And what I don't like about it is it did the focusing hunts, so uh, it's not really much clearance, so I can't really show you it. Uh, it can be built as a standard HE111, I can see. Um, and now my computer's just gone ding, and it's setting up a device that's been on here for ages. Now it's telling me it's ready to go, which is the webcam. I don't know. It's been on for 10 minutes, so I don't know why it's done that. So, sorry, it's a bit blurry. There's only about 8 inches between the top of the box and the top of my camera. So, obviously, it's a bit out of focal range. Anyway, box is still sealed, so let's quickly open that. And here we go. So, first off, let's just get the box out of the way. Get a bit more in focus. There we go. It says here, Mark in D, Heinkel HE11 Bomber. Motorhead Roundhouse Studios and Olympic Studios, London, England, 1979. Goodness me. I was 17 back then. So it's predominantly... Uh, matte black all over with a bit of grey here and there by the looks of things but uh, sh should be a fun build but uh, anyway that's the markings for that rustle 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 I'll bend down and get everything out of the box so I don't know if there are any decals in it. Oh yes, here we are. Some alternative decals for the other schemes. Don't ask me to pronounce the German. I'll have a little go though because I'm going to mangle it. It's uh, from the Count Geschwader 26, based in Sicily in 1941. With a torpedo underneath. Or two torpedoes actually, when you actually look at it. And then we've got a Sturch Kampfschrager. I can't say it. I'll have to take some German lessons. Based in North Africa in 1941. Um, this one's uh, sand yellow all on the top. And Himmel, that's hell, isn't it? Hell blue underneath. Heaven blue. Don't know. Waffling on. And the last one is actually a Royal Romanian Air Force one based on the Russian front in 1944. That's quite a different one. I'm sure I'll be going for the motorhead version. So we'll have a quick look through the instructions. Let's see how it goes. Kind of like starts off with the insides of the fuselage, adding some in internal de details, followed by some bulkhead, bombay I guess. Another bombay, uh, bulkhead, then over to the other side. So the seat I guess going in there. Uh, joining the fuselage halves, um, telling you to open holes up if you want to put it on a stand. Various other, <coughs> excuse me, internal components. I want to the pilot's control columns. Got some crew. What a shame they're not motorhead characters, but I think in 172nd uh, they'd be a bit small to identify. Then obviously got the bomb bay. 
Look at an undercarriage bay. That could be an undercarriage bay. Tell a lie. Yes, because there's another one on the next page. Wings going together. This kind of glue the wings onto the fuselage and then adding the underneath parts. Uh, looks like they, yes, they're uh, posable flaps and ailerons. And putting the rear tailplane together uh, and the rudder and um, balance mechanisms on them. And going on to the engine, the cells, no engine detail, just in the cells. Exhausts and the landing gear with the various options if you want to do them up or down. And what I tend to do is I go through if I want and cross the ones out that I don't want to do so I don't get confused. Adding the main struts, the retraction mechanisms, the wheels, uh, the underneath gondola, which presumably, yes, it is, is a clear part. Uh, Gun mounts for the top aerials. And my glass work, lots of canopy masking in this. Uh, then adding the side windows, propellers, nose gun. Uh, looks like you can have the hatch open if you want. Uh, a couple of torpedoes to add. And then back to the markings options and of course you've got stencil data as well so next you've got the standard decals they look quite nice the remaining one would be nice but then you've got the stencils you've got a little decal for the controls uh, the instrument panel sorry but, uh, nice for stickers that's interesting And then, of course, you've got the motorhead ones, which are just white. So you, I don't know how well these show up. I'll bring them up to the camera a little bit. And you can see they've got the, the head, <laughs> the registration, motorhead for underneath, a couple of bombs with what looks like a, either a skeleton or, a, or the devil sitting on the bomb, some bullet holes. Yeah, all in all, I think this will be a fun build. So moving on to the kit itself, in one bag, standard airfix fashion. That up. Pull the screws out. Clear parts of bag separately. I'm not going to take them out, so just to protect them, uh, they look reasonable. So moving on, engraved panel lines on the wings, a little bit heavy maybe, but it looks, it's a good kit. I've never built a Heinkel 111, so hopefully this will be an interesting build, but I do have to clear up a few other builds I've got on the go before I start this. It's only that I'd forgotten all about this, I put it on back order at Hammonds and then I had an email saying your order's been dispatched. I thought, what order? Had a quick look, thinking I'd been my well, account had been hacked or anything, but no, it was for this, it came into stock. Right, so that's the sprue for the wings. And we've got undercarriage legs, propellers, the three crew figures that are supplied. Oh, it's nicely moulded. Very nice. Then you've got the main fuselage halves. Again, slightly large panel lines. There's no rivet detail that I can see. But, uh, that's up to you to add if there was any. Then you've got the bomb racks, which are vertical on these. It's got out on two of them. So I presume that means they face out to the fuselage. Then you've got these fuselage details for the, which go inside. There's some detail. Looks like another nice kit by Airfix. Then you've got the bottom part of the wing where the bombs fall through. I didn't realise till recently that they actually had the bombs vertical and not horizontal in the bomb bays. Undercarriage doors, elevators, 
ailerons and flaps. Uh, not sure what those bits are. And then you've got the engine nacelles and torpedoes, wheel hubs, exhausts, various other pieces. I won't profess to know that I know what they all are. Well, these are obviously mounting the torpedo underneath. Uh, yeah, basic kit, I guess it's a good starting point and yeah, reminds me of the old days building airfix kits. Yeah, very nice. Anyway guys, that's really about it. Um hope it's come across quite well this little review. I can't at the moment get a complete setup that I like. I enjoy using my camcorder but at the moment I don't think I can plug the mic into it because it's such a, a basic uh, Sony model. Um, but it would be nice to be able to do that. Um, use my new microphone. It's that or it's an alternative webcam. This is the Logitech C920 I use at the moment and I think that's quite a popular one. But, uh, yeah. Anyway guys, hope whatever you're working on is going well at the moment. Um, and uh, catch you on my next infrequent video. So long guys. Uh, so like a PS to my uh, video on the Motorhead HG111. Um, mentioned that they had the interior for the bomb bays but I've just been through the instructions again and uh, it doesn't actually appear to show you it installing it. Um, I may be wrong but I've had a couple of looks and I couldn't see it. So a uh, bit of an error there in the FX instructions. Maybe it's been left out for some reason. Well, I'm not entirely sure but uh, I'll, I couldn't see it being installed. Anyway guys, um, yeah. Just add that on to the end of the video, I think. So, carry on modelling. Cheers.